Hey, it's Zach, America's Authority on Vital Living. And today, I'm gonna to be walking you through how to roast almonds. Now, all nuts and seeds, they do benefit a little bit from being roasted for about 15 minutes, but if you know how to season and dress them up a little bit, it adds so much more to the flavor. So we're going to knock out some Asian almonds right here, right now. Let's get to it. All right, before we get started, you're gonna to wanna to heat up your oven to 350 degrees and lightly oil a tray. And now we're getting down to it. So we're going to do two bowls, one wet, one dry. And a teaspoon of maple syrup and soy sauce right into the bowl. And then another teaspoon of coconut oil. So I'm adding the coconut oil and soy sauce so we can get those Asian flavors in there. I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit. And then for the dry, it's really easy. I just measured out four teaspoons of Asian spice. And so this has sesame seeds, orange peel, ginger, chili, and garlic already set in there. So that's really easy. And then th this shot is, is just for me to cook with, so cheers. Ugh. Now what you do is take three-fourths cup of almonds, or a heaping half a cup, add it to the wet, Uh, so mix all the almonds just so that they're lightly coated by the liquid and that'll really help the seasoning to stick and the flavor to come through once everything's done roasting in the oven. Whoops. Nice. You can see them starting to glisten a little bit. It's always good. I'm gonna get this set and just try not to get too much of the liquid when you pour the almonds into here so you get you don't get any clumps yeah leave some of that stuff behind and then just mix this up again and it should stick really nicely yeah so an easier way to do this would be to take a plate or something just to cover it and shake it up. Nice. So everything's coated, everything's looking awesome. We're going to take our lightly greased tray, pour this stuff on top, and you want to arrange it so that the almonds have their space. Nice single layer. Just trying to tap out any clumps. Looks pretty good to me. Now this is going into the oven for 10 minutes. Take it out and then just mix it around a little bit before putting it back in for five minutes. And then you let them cool. And these, yeah. So the nuts are the nuts are in the oven. We're gonna leave them there to cook for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Take them out and mix them around a little bit just to make sure they all get cooked evenly and then push them back in for five minutes. Then let them rest and cool. You could package them up, stick them in the fridge for a week or you could even freeze them to keep them for a month and they're useful for so many different things. Now, we spice these up Asian style. So, you could use them to top a salad instead of croutons. You could use them in a cool trail mix. You could just snack on them as they are. Nothing wrong with that. You could chop them up and mix them in with different pastas 
or mix them in and sneak them into different sandwiches. There's so many ways you're only limited by your imagination. Have a good one.